All right, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing, um, first thing we want to do when completing the square, one thing I told you guys to remember when completing the square, we only are going to be completing the square when a is equal to 1. So you guys can see this is in standard form at the current time, and a is equal to 2. So to get a to equal 1, the first thing that we're going to always want to do is factor out a 2, or factor out our a. Okay, I'm just going to factor it out of the first two terms. Now again, the goal of completing the square is to create a perfect square trinomial. So we have to create a perfect square trinomial. To do that, what we do is we take b divided by 2 and we square it. b in this case is 3. So after I factor out the 2, my b in, in my parentheses is 3. So what I'll do is I'll take 3 divided by 2 and square it. Now. Three, 2 doesn't divide into 3 like we've done in these other problems, right? That's okay. We'll just square it, and that's going to give us 9 fourths. Now, we add the 9 fourths inside the parentheses, and we, add, and we have to now subtract the 9 fourths outside the parentheses, right? Because you can't do it on the same, um, can't just add the number. So we do 2, then we have x squared plus 3x plus 9 fourths. and then minus 9 fourths. But please realize that I'm not adding a 9 fourths, actually. I'm adding a 9 fourths that's being multiplied by 2. So over here, I have to multiply a 9 fourths that's being multiplied by 2. All right? Um, now, this is a perfect square trinomial. Every single time, ladies and gentlemen, you do complete the square, you create a perfect square trinomial. Unless you're playing on your phone, you might not have a perfect square trinomial. But if you are completing the square, you will create a per Um, you will create a perfect square trinomial. Why are perfect square trinomials so helpful? Because they can always be factored down to binomials squared. Remember we kind of practiced this like x squared minus 6x plus 9. That's a binomial square. That's a perfect square trinomial. It can be factored down to a binomial squared. That means there's some number that, I, that multiplies by itself to give me this, but then it has to give me 3. So what number multiplied by itself gives me 9 over 4? Three, three halves. So x plus 3 halves squared. And think about that. Is 3 halves is the decimal equivalent with that, Joseph, would be 1.5. Is 1.5 plus 1.5 equal to 3? Yes, so that works. Here, that reduces to 1 half. So this is over 1. So I probably want to rewrite that as um, 14 over 2 minus 9 over 2. So I reduced the 2 over 4 to 1 half. 1 times negative 9 is negative 9. And then you have a 2. I rewrote 7 over 1 as 14 half. Now they have common denominators, so I can combine them. So my final simplified answer equals, uh, that becomes 5, oops, sorry, plus 5 halves. So there it is with fractions. So that's OK. Please don't use decimals. Our vertex, I think they just wanted you to find the vertex, right? Our vertex is negative 3 halves, comma, 5 halves. And they wanted you to find the axis of symmetry. Axis symmetry is um, a vertical line, so it's x equals the x-coordinate of your axis, which is negative 3 halves. 